Coach Tim Cohn takes the helm as head coach for Gilas Filipinas Men following his historic win in the Hangzhou Asian Games along with Coach Richard Del Rosario as team manager. The Samahang Basketball ng Pilipinas announced the winningest coach in PBA history will lead a team of the country's top hoopers through the upcoming FIBA Asia Cup qualifiers and the Olympic qualifying tournament. With a winning pedigree and a carefully selected core of players, Coach Tim Cohn is poised to elevate Philippine basketball to new heights once again. Now, speaking of Gilas, let's hear from someone who knows all about winning with the national squad and Coach Tim Cohn. Gilas Filipinas team manager, Coach Richard Del Rosario. I, I really hate introducing you, Dad. Uh, hello, <laughs> and thank you for coming on the show. Can, can I fire the first question? <laughs> Go. Who's the better looking Del Rosario? I'm, I'm, oh, I settle uh, na natin. Uh, I settle na of natin. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, original. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm done for the night. Thank uh, you. <laughs> I don't know how to start all of a sudden. Uh, okay, no. But uh, first of all, Dad, again, congratulations, uh, team manager for Gilas Filipinas, uh, and also working alongside Coach Tim Cohn. Uh, I want to ask about, I know the story, but I want you to share it. It's good with everyone. When Coach Tim Cohn asked you to be part of the staff as a team manager, mm. uh, what was your initial thoughts and reaction? Because it's really ang trabaho ng isang team manager for a national team? Well, of course, I was surprised. Uh, I didn't expect it. Um, but again, um, he said it makes sense because of our working relationship throughout the years, no? Um, and he's, you know, the comfort level, uh, there has to be a good rapport between the, the coach and the team manager, you know, uh, for, for a program to be uh, successful. And, you know, I think the challenge, um, I think uh, me being a, a former uh, player uh, would be able to anticipate the needs of the players, um, uh, international tournaments, uh, whatever they need, the logistically, nutrition, you know, training, and also being a coach. Uh, I also know what coach Tim uh, needs for for trainings to be successful and the preparation. So I can do that in advance, even before the actual training starts. I see this position. Um, not as a position of authority. Uh, I see it as a position of service um, that I really need to be of service to the players and the coaches as well. Because mm -hmm. uh, the common concept of being a manager is you know, dapat yung boss, but I, I, I look at it differently. Uh, it, it has to be, I have to do my work for them to be successful. And that's going to be my goal, to really take care of things in advance, to try to look ahead so that they won't have to think about anything else but uh, just performing at their best uh, during the competition. Well, speaking of competition, Coach, coming from a high of the last international competition, uh, a lot has been said already. You've talked about it. Coach Tim has talked about it, especially right after the competition when all the emotions were running high. Now that you've been able to detach yourself from it for a while now and have gone through different things already in the PBA and all that. When you look back at that Asian Games conquest, what, what's your, you know, what were your recollection and what things do you remember about it that you probably have not talked about yet? Well, I think it's just a lesson of being selfless. As we mentioned, even before when the team was formed, when players were asked if they were willing to be a part of that team, they didn't uh, have any second thoughts. Everybody just said yes. They were really willing to represent the country, with, even with the short preparation that they knew that uh, we had. Um, there was no talk about uh, financial compensation. You know, all they wanted to uh, know, know is when does practice start. Mm. And when you have a, a group of guys that are selfless like that, I think that's the biggest recipe for success. Uh, and it carried on during that tournament. Uh, with guys looking out for each other, everybody was was treated equally uh, from from the management, from the coaches to the players to the support staff. Mm -hmm. Everybody was just you know one one big group, one big team. Even though we didn't have enough time to really prepare for it, but right. the team was really uh, formed and and gelled completely. And I think it showed. And that's why even during the darkest moments of that campaign, we were still able to rise above it and uh, eventually. Uh, get the goal that nobody was really expecting for us to get. Yeah, uh, given that, that, just to connect it to what's happening now, mm. 
there has been a 12 announced already for the upcoming uh, FIBA Asia Cup window for Gilas Pilipinas. Uh, the new Gilas 12 includes some guys that, if I'm not mistaken, you and Coach Tim haven't necessarily handled in the past. Just tell us a bit about the confidence level in this group because even Coach Tim Cohn said in an interview during the PSA uh, Awards Night that he aims to keep the core together for at least four years. Just looking at this construction, what are your initial thoughts in, in terms of your confidence that this is the group that could at least start out the year of Coach Tim Cohn as Gila's team uh, head coach? Well, I think it's a very good mix of veterans and young players. Um, so you have a team that can win now and you have a team that can still grow and win in the future. And that's what we're looking at, the continuity of the program. Um, of course, we would want to keep this core intact as much as possible. But of course, since uh, four years is a long way, uh, it, it a lot of things can still happen. So we have to give room for adjustments. And however, as of this point, we are committed to these players. Um, we asked for the players' commitment. And um, when Coach Tim uh, talked to them individually, they gave their commitment. But I think it's very important, though, as we ask for the commitment of the players that everybody, not just the federation, not just the coaching staff, but the entire country, let's commit to the players also. Um, uh, I think the biggest uh, mistake or what, what happens in our country is that um, when we don't perform well, we all always ask for change. Mm. Um, and we have to accept the fact that we will not win all games. And if we don't win uh, some of the games, it doesn't mean that we have to scratch what we started and start from zero once again. Mm -hmm. So we really have to commit to these guys. As we ask them to commit to the program, we all have to commit and support these guys. Um, and I think if we have that, I think um, we'll be able to do uh, good things. Um, let's learn from the su success of other national team programs as well. Um, guys from Iran before had the same players in whatever tournaments uh, they participated in. You got Hadadi and Kamrani and Parantanda Tanda Nalera. They were still the ones uh, uh, really competing for it. And they had success and they were able to uh, mentor the younger guys that came in for the national team. So as this, this group grows longer together, as they uh, learn to uh, really appreciate each other and develop that chemistry, I think... Uh, good things uh, will be in store for our national team program. It's an exciting lineup of uh, 12 players. They look good. They, and it sounds like you're off to a great start. And I, I know in the months to come, we'll, we'll talk more about uh, the Gilas 12 and uh, your job, of course, as team manager.